Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm gonna start this video off by saying we still don't have power. <laughs> but hopefully they're gonna be coming today or tomorrow and hopefully they'll get it done uh, pretty soon. The biggest problem I have this morning is that I got a call from them um, and they were asking if they could uh, have the trees to kind of pay for the offset of the expense of having the trees uh, cut down. Um, there was a few trees because of the way they decided to run their poles that a, some of the trees needed to be cut down. And uh, of course we had five hours um, of free time for us that was included um, would run into power but uh, they wanted to remove the trees so that way it could kind of pay for the expense that they had with that. Mind you, I have paid thousands of dollars which has put me um, in a bad in bad times right now because we need the power um, it's very expensive and if it wasn't for my family we wouldn't even be where we are right now with the help with our power but I was kind of offended by them worried about their expense how about me um, how about the troubles that we have um, and how we need this lumber and um, so I was quite upset about that it makes no sense so anyway, uh, this video really is about, I read something, well actually I saw a video, and then I looked into it to see how much of it was true, and there was a video in reference to Walmart's prices going up, and also that some stores would be closing and a lot of people don't shop at walmart and that's all good and, and it's not really about the shopping at walmart that concerns me it's the fact that they're going to have to go up on their prices and that they're going to have to close stores if the shoplifting continues and the problem with this is if it's happening to walmart all the other stores is happening also so it's kind of it, it's going to kind of affect every business, I would assume. So if there are uh, people that shop lifting at Walmart to make ends meet uh, for food, uh, for personal items, for things like that, you know it's happening at a lot of stores. So if the prices go up even more than what they are up right now, guys, we're in trouble. Stuff is so expensive right now. I mean, you can't go into Walmart or to Kroger's or Dollar General or really anywhere without spending at least 50 or $60, sometimes for just one meal. Now, we get our eggs and we are uh, raising uh, meat rabbits. We're working on that. We don't have them yet. Uh, we bought our two pigs that we'll be breeding, but that's gonna be next year and we are putting things into place that's going to kind of help us out with this but it's not helping us out right now because we're just putting these things into play so it takes some time we we built us a greenhouse and well with the greenhouse we're doing our winter we're having salad greens and things like that coming out of our our greenhouse and that's helping but you know that that can't sustain us and it helps a little bit with the cost, but we still have to go to the grocery store to buy our groceries because we're just not at the point where we can supply all of our needs, or at least most of them. In the future, we're hoping to be there, but right now we're just not. So I'm really worried. I'm really worried that if next year, if the prices go up even more, what are people going to do? I mean, we don't use credit cards. I got in uh, trouble with credit cards uh, many years ago, and I said if I ever got out of that, uh, that's just something I would never do again. 
and I know a lot of people make it ends meet, rely on credit cards and get themselves in more debt. And I was one of those people. I would buy stuff on a credit card, pay the minimum payment, and before you know it, you've maxed out that credit card and you get a new one. And you start that whole process again to where you get so much in debt to where you just can't dig yourself out of it. And I'm not going to do that. I, I, I'm not going to go back down that road. And my mod motto now is, if I can't pay for it, then I don't need it. And we'll just make ways. We will just make, we'll just make it somehow or another. So guys, I want to show you something. We decided um, to build a little shed around our water barrels so it's a little bit safer. Uh, we had someone give us some free tin, which we're very thankful for. So see guys, we used our tarp. Um, it's really thick. It's the sign tarp uh, that they put on the billboards. Uh, the man gave us some so we have it turned around so the black's showing so that way when the sun's shining Which we don't see much of right now So We put this around and then we put a tin roof and then that way we can actually hang a light underneath in the center and then that way the heat lamp can put heat in here and keep our barrels and pipes from freezing which we're hoping that and there's enough of room in there so if we do get some hard freezes for a long time our frame will give us enough of support that we could actually put like a small buddy heater or something in there and run uh, propane heat to keep our pipes from freezing so that way we can have our water because you know we do um, have rainwater to supply 100 percent of our water needs and that's for drinking and cooking and we have a Berkey uh, filter system that we filter our water for so we just want to make sure but sorry to get off topic I just wanted to to share that with y'all but guys I cannot encourage everybody enough um, please if you have a little bit to spare I know it's hard right now believe I know anything to put food up or to put a little stash so that way you could build a greenhouse or build you some raised beds or be able to start a garden try to save up some seeds because guys i think hard times we think hard times are right now but i think it's going to get a lot worse i think it's going to get really a lot worse and we honestly just scaved uh, something that could have been devastating with the railroads going on strike if that had happened they said the cost of living would just had skyrocketed even more so people not being treated fairly and they are fighting for their rights to you know to be able to make money and and try to survive because they need more money to survive the increased cost I mean they have to fight for their rights anyway guys uh, look into it I mean it, it's the CEO is warning about the prices of uh, the Walmart prices going up and then probably some of the Walmart's closing down to help with their cost so if it's happening to Walmart even if you don't shop there and you say well it's not going to um, it's not going to hurt you in any way if it's happening to them it's going to be happening at other businesses and it's going to hurt us in one way or another it's just going to hurt us and i just it's just sad times right now guys so guys i want to i appreciate you coming out and hanging out with me today i just thought that that was really important normally i don't do videos um with things like that but i just thought it was really important for people out there that's trying to prepare to try to get their life a little bit in order so that way they can survive these hard times guys just just work on it day by day just look at the things um, uh, that maybe you don't need 
or just hold off if you know that new code if you have a code that's that's good just hold off on that that new code and put that money aside and and buy some seeds with it or just put you a a little side um side money so that way you can have your garden for next year just so that way you can kind of help you know help prepare prepare for what's coming i know things are going to get harder before they get better so guys until next time i'll see you on the next one